Supposedly, Green Day is the most popular music band in the country right now. I'm sure I've accidentally heard one of their songs playing in the background of some coffee shop in this past year, but to be quite honest, I have never purposely tried to hear one of them. I know, I know, I've become one of those dad types that is increasingly more and more out of touch with the ever-changing phenomenon known as pop culture. A couple days ago, I admitted to someone that I've never watched American Idol. The look I received in response was like, how have you even been surviving on this planet without your weekly injections? Frankly, I'm quite detached from pop culture these days. I look in from the outside and just shake my head incredulously. These musicians look and sound like idiots. But ironically, if you ask them, they would all agree that I'm the one who looks and sounds like the idiot. As time passes, I'm realizing that without ever changing my opinion, I am growing increasingly more and more wrong, uncool, unsavory, and unappealing to this world. How does that happen? Well, it would seem that while I'm standing on the unmoving truth of the gospel, the world around me is slipping further and further away from it, which is causing me and all those of you who are standing right alongside me to appear more and more strange. So let's get back to Green Day. You may have heard of their recent feud with Walmart. Supposedly, Walmart is unwilling to carry their latest chart-topping album due to its crude and distasteful content. If Green Day would provide Walmart with a clean, edited version, then Walmart, who by the way is the largest selling music store in America, would be willing to carry it. Simple solution, right? Well, Green Day is beside themselves with artistic angst over this. I think the statement from frontman Billy Joe Armstrong was, You feel like you're in 1953 or something, man. I can empathize with Walmart. You see, here they are holding to the same policy that they've always had in their stores. They've said from the beginning, we will not carry any merchandise with a parental advisory sticker on it. But the world around them is sinking, and whereas even last year it was still fine for Walmart to hold to their old-fashioned ideals, those old-fashioned ideals just don't hack it anymore in our modern world. According to Green Day, they've just got to go. We live in a time when standing for the unbending truth of Scripture is becoming increasingly more and more difficult. If you hold to a higher moral or ethical standard, then you are deemed part of the problem with society. If you have the guts to protect purity, honor innocence, and defend what is biblically right, then prepare yourself for a firestorm. It is now more politically correct to hawk drugs, sex, and barbaric violence to little kids than it is to stand up and protect them from all the pollution. Just listen to Green Day's rationale towards the Walmart ban on their CDs. It's downright crazy. Walmart has simply asked them to provide them a clean version for them to sell. But Green Day says, What does it say to a young kid who's trying to speak his mind making a record for the first time? It's like a game that you have to play. You have to refuse to play it. The message Green Day is giving our youth is crystal clear. Refuse to honor. Refuse to respect. Refuse to be decent. 1953 is sounding quite nice about now, if you ask me. Because in 1953, these punk kids would have been given a good old-fashioned spanking. For Moody Radio, I'm Eric Ludi. Please visit me at ericludi.com.